Hi, this is Vivek from Informatica Global Customer Support. Today I'm going to demonstrate the re resiliency between the repository service and the PMDTM process. So, uh, how how the PMDTM is a is is resilient to a non-responsive uh, repository service is what I'm going to demonstrate today. So, I would I would start a session. Uh, in this session, I have deliberately put a pre-session command task with a sleep of 100 seconds uh, so that I get enough time to make the repository service non-responsive as well as check a couple of other things. So, so let's start the session. There we go. Okay, we see the PMDTM process. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, so, so the PMDTM process carries the information about what is the resiliency timeout, right? So we can see that from the uh, arguments which are passed as uh, which which are passed to the PMDTM process. So the slash proc slash PID of the PMDTM process and command line. This would display the complete set of arguments. So the service resiliency timeout is like 180 second. Uh, this 186 seconds is the value which is specified at the ice level in the admin console. That you can see here, resiliency timeout is 180. If you modify this value here, you can see the change in uh, uh, change in the command command argument. Now let's attach the GDB to PM represent process. Right. As soon as a debugger is attached to a process, the process goes in the pause state uh, until you type con until you continue the debugging. Uh, the process is kind of like paused, and it is right now non-responsive to the PMDTM. Now let's check it the session log. Okay, it's still. Okay. So right now the PMDTM, uh, I mean the session has been completed. Uh, after the completion, the session tries to update certain uh, run information back into the repository. So at this point, the PMDTM is actually trying to connect to uh, the represent process to pass on some information. So right now some sort of heartbeat, heartbeat message must be going on between the uh, PMDTM and the represent and uh, before it goes resilient. It need to ensure that uh, PMDTM ensures that the connection is no more alive or uh, there is no response being received. Okay, nearly after a minute or one and a half minute, we see that the repository, so we see that the uh, error, mess, er, er, error has occurred, which indicates the connect, connection to the repository is no more alive, it's broken, and then it goes resilient. So you, you can see the message here, the resiliency timeout is one second. Now this is this is the duration when the PMDTM will keep trying to reconnect to the repository. So like 180 second is like nearly three minutes. The PMDTM process will keep trying uh, to to so uh, to to remain resilient to the broken connection. Now let's go and reactivate. Okay, we have detached from the process. Now the process execution has completed or continued. Okay, and what we see here is actually as soon as the PM represent process was responsive, uh, PMDTM could reconnect. And that's where we see reconnected to the repository service successfully. 
not only in here even the clients were went resilient uh, and this is how like I this is how I would say like the, the, the PMD team process as well as the, the, the clients which are clients like uh, uh, repository uh, 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 sorry uh, workflow monitor went resilient to the broken connection between the client and the repository service so this is pretty much uh, please do, do uh, let us know what you think about uh, the video KB please share your comments with us thank you very much